Konnichiwa, welcome to Tokyo, Japan at Tokyo World Raceway for round one of the NNSCRA Drivers, Caterpillar. Start your engines! For the NNSCRA Caterpillar Arca series. As the drivers are leaving, well, they're about to leave Pit Road. Let's get started with the starting lineup of this race. And as you saw that starting lineup, there goes Sean Hindley, who was on the pole. Right beside him is his fellow NNSCRA member, Robert Band, in the 77. Sean Hindley, he's a veteran, but Robert Band is a rookie. We have plenty of rookies in this new season as the pace car leaves the track. We're in this thing for 34 laps. And we are going green at Tokyo. Here they come down the front straight away and towards the first turn. Sean Henley is hugging that inside line and coming up behind him is Ricky Hawk in the 53. And uh oh. And Ricky Hawk, he's moving to the inside of Sean Henley. And coming up behind him is the 88 of Nathan Dunanis. And leading that first lap is going to be, it looks like it's going to be Ricky Hawk. Ricky Hawk leads the first lap of the first race in the ARCA series. We have a lot of aspiring new talent in this series. Right now, Ricky Hawk, he's trying to make a name for himself. And here comes the 88 of Nathan Dunanis. And he, and, and Nathan Dunanis has taken the lead from from Ricky Hogg, but coming up behind him is the 28 of Bill Raymond, another rookie in this series. And now moving up to third now is the 59 car. That is Bob Fergus. He is a veteran. He drives the number 50 in the Mountain Dew Co-Red Truck Series. Coming up behind him in fourth now is the 11 of Jake Baskinger. Jake Baskinger had a brief first round drive in the, in the second championship rally tournament. And here comes, whoa, there goes a charging number eight car. That is Trent Dunham, as we all know, Trent Dunham. And whoa, we're trying to have it for the lead. Nathan Dunanis is battling out with the 28 of Bill Raymond, and here comes Trent Dunham. And also trying to come up is the 44. That is Zach Carlson, another rookie. And Robert Band, he's dropped back a lot. There goes the number 51 of Skyland Carlson. And look at this, the 22 is trying to move up. That is Alex Band, Robert Band's brother. They're both in Dodgers and they're trying to work together. And whoa, look at this. A battle for the lead. Trent Dunham is working on taking it away from Bill Raymond. But coming up behind him is Zach Carlson in that 44 car. Surprisingly clean racing for right now. This is a very wide track. It's like a mix of Daytona and Lowe's. Let's take a look back and see who else we see. There goes the 96 of What If Racing, and coming up behind him is the 31. That's Alexander Dawson. Alexander Dawson, he's another aspiring rookie in this series. And there is the 25 of Seth Cole, another rookie. As we just entered lap 6, and whoa, Nathan Dunanis, he's dropping back. Yeah, big wide tracks like this, you do not want to be at the outside line. And whoa, three wide now. Nathan Dunanis, the 55 of Robert Brooks, and the 96 of What If Racing. As they go three wide into turn three. Whoa. 
What if racing in the 96? He is driving the wheels off of that car. Let's head back to the front. And whoa, Zach Carlson, he's dropping back. He got stuck on the outside. Let's see who else we see. That's the number four of Jake Johnson, yet another rookie. And in front of him is Jeff Mega in the 63. And whoa, look at this. Robert Band and Alex Band. They've been drafting together for the last two or three laps. And they're both working on taking away the lead from Trent Dunham. And Robert Band has taken the lead. And whoa, nearly three wide here. And they're running close. Alex Band in the 22. And there's Jeff Mega in the 63. As Trent Dunham is falling back. And he is stuck on the outside. That's not where you want to be. And here's someone else moving up. The 14 of Brendan Allen. Well, this is just tight pack racing back here. And there is the number 09. That is Ryan Acosta. And coming up behind him is the 30 of Danny Wells. They're both veterans. The few veterans in this series. And here comes the number two car of Adam Feigl. He is running in. The ticket says he's in 15th. And there goes the 97 of Jake Hargis. Another rookie driving that 97 Chevy Impala. And, whoa, they're racing hard back here. There's the 16 of Justin Johnson, another rookie. And coming up behind him is the 41 of Sasha Dawson. And there is the 12 car. That's Trent Dunham's teammate and another rookie. That is Justin Perry. And, whoa, and, and whoa, there's Sean Henley, our pole sitter. He has dropped way back. He's, he's probably running in 26. Let's head back to the front now. And it's still all about Robert Bam, but look who's on his bumper. Jake Johnson. And uh-oh, Jake Johnson's moving to the inside now. And whoa, whoa, Robert Bam, he just got off the pace. And that's going to open the door for Jake Johnson. Sponsoring great clips in that number four car. And whoa, and here comes a charging 28 car. That's Bill Raymond. And coming up behind him is Alex Bam in the 22. And here comes, here comes Jake Baskinger in the 11. He's, he's getting behind Zach Carlson. And there goes Danny Wells making a move on Ryan Acosta and Brendan Allen. He's right under the 31 car. That is Alexander Dawson. His sister Sasha Dawson must be in the back somewhere. Where is she? As we see, as we stop at the 36, that's Justin Acosta in the in the 36 Dodge Charger. And whoa, three wide back here. What if racing Sean Henley and the 41? There's Sasha Dawson right there, one of the few female competitors in this series. And and look who's behind her, the number one of Tim Feigl. And whoa, look at Trent Dunham and what if racing? They dropped way back in the field. See, in any of these series, anything can happen. There's the 51 of Skylin Carlson, another female in this series. And running behind her is the 32 of Tim Fralick. Let's go back to the front. It's still all about Jake Johnson. And whoa, and whoa, look at this. Zach Carlson, he's way on the outside. And there goes Rob, uh, excuse me. There's Danny Wells trying to make a move on Jake Baskinger. Whoa, that 30 Dodge Charger is moving. It's, it's still all about Jake Johnson in the four. If anybody wants to make a name for themselves in Tokyo, this is the place. As we take a look at this battle for fourth right now between, between Zach Carlson and Bill Raymond. And Bill Raymond, he pulled way ahead. And there goes Jake Hargis, and he's being pushed by Brendan Allen. And there goes the 59 of Bob Fergus. Let's take a look and see who else I see. Okay, there's the 16 of Justin Johnson. And behind him is, is um, Robert Band. Robert Band dropped way back in the field. Uh, sorry about that little freeze there. And whoa, nobody is catching this four car right now. This four car is dominating right now as he leads another lap. Jake Johnson, he's trying to capture his first win in the first race of this season. Ever since he took the lead, he has not looked back. 
And whoa, almost three wide back here. Jake Baskinger. There's Brendan Allen and there's Jake Hargis way on the outside. And whoa, and here comes Jeff Mega in the 63. He just took away seventh, I believe. And there's the oops. Uh, freaking pace car. And whoa, and there's the uh, eleven car. Jake Baskinger. He is he he's trying to catch that four car. Uh, no, uh -oh, here comes Brendan Allen in the fourteen. He's trying to come up, and here comes Jeff Mega in the sixty-three. That sixty-three is moving up. Surprisingly clean racing so far ever since we took the green flag. We just passed the halfway mark. And there goes Robert. Uh, uh, I, uh, I'm sorry. There goes Danny Wells trying to move back up. I'm trying to learn everybody's names. Let's find someone we haven't talked about yet. Let's see. Oh, and there's the six of Charles Jack Charles Jackson. Another rookie in this series. He's driving the number six Toyota Camry. And there's Trent Dunham. Right behind him is the 53 of Ricky Hawk. And there goes the 55. That is Robert Brooks. And his teammate is right behind him, Seth Cole. Whoa, whoa. A lot of people who who are running in the front, they're running in the back now. This one we haven't talked about yet. The 66 of Travis Mitchell. Another veteran in this series. And whoa, and look at Sasha, da Sasha Dawson. She is dropping back. She just got passed by Zach Carlson, Sean Henley, and it looks like she's about to get passed by Justin Perry in the 12. And whoa, look at and whoa, look at Alex Band. He is way off the pace. He is way off the pace. He was running near the front earlier. Helping his brother trying to get the lead, but now he's running in dead last. And whoa! And whoa! We're, we're having a battle for the lead now! Jake Baskinger has caught up to Jake Johnson. Two Jakes trying to battle for the lead. I guess it's the Jake and Jake show. Oh, but while they're having that battle, here comes Robert Band trying to get back up. But running behind him is the charging 63 of Jeff Mega. And Robert Band has retaken the lead, but Jeff Mega, he's on his bumper. Jeff Mega, he is not letting up one bit as Robert Band leads yet another lap in that 77 Dodge Charger. Now trying to have a battle for third, Jake Baskinger and Jake Johnson. They're still trying to duke it out. Coming up behind them is the two car. That's Adam Feigl. And coming up behind him is Skylin Carlson. Well, all these drivers are racing close, but it's all about these two. Jeff Mega, he's still on the bumper of Robert Band. As Robert Band leads another lap. Robert Band, he is not letting up one bit at all. He he is trying to protect his line, but he might not have it for long because that 63 car is fast. There's Jake Johnson hanging on to third. And Skyline Carlson has moved up to fourth now. And whoa, here's someone else trying to move up. Alexander Dawson and coming and trying to come back up is Trent Dunham in the eight. I guess he finally found that momentum again. And there's Justin Justin Johnson in the sixteen. He's about to get passed by Charles Jackson in the six. Let's head back up to the front. And uh oh, and oh. Here comes Jake Johnson trying to move back up. He just took away second from Jeff Mega. As Robert Band, he is pulling away. This time by, we're going to have 10 laps to go. Robert Band, he's still leading this thing. And whoa, trying to have a battle for third. Skyline Carlson, but here comes Adam Feigl in the two car. Another veteran. He drives number 21 in the Mobile One Nationwide Series. And number 19 in the Mountain Dew Co-Red Truck Series. Whoa, just look at this four-car battle right here. Alexander Dawson, he's trying to get under Tim Feigl. Uh, uh, excuse me, Adam Feigl, I'm sorry. 
And there goes Trent Dunham back in the eight. He has moved up to six. Let's head back up to the front. And Jake Johnson has caught up to Robert Ban. Whoa, Robert Ban better watch out. Jake, and uh oh, there goes Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson led pretty much the first half of this race. And Jake Johnson capitalizes. He takes the lead from Robert Ban once again. He is back leading this thing, but here comes Skyline Carlson. One of the few female competitors in this thing. She's about to take away second from Robert Ban. And there goes Trent Dunham trying to take away fourth from Alexander Dawson. These two have a history together. In the, in the Mobile One Nationwide Series, Trent Dunham, he gave Alexander Dawson his old ride. And both of them, they're just running close. And there goes Robert Ban retaking away second from Skyland Carson. And Trent Dunham has moved up to eighth. Uh, third, I'm sorry. Oh, God, what's wrong with me? It's still all about Jake Johnson. Surprisingly, we haven't had any wrecks in this race. We have seven laps to go. And Jake Johnson has a huge lead. And, whoa, and here comes Jeff Mega trying to come back up. And here's someone else trying to move up. That's Travis Mitchell in the 66. Travis Mitchell, he won at Daytona in the Mobile One Nationwide Series. And here comes Zach, Zach Carson passing his sister. Here comes Adam Figo trying to pass Skyland Carlson. And whoa, and there goes, and whoa, these cars are battling hard. There's Danny Wells in the 30. Behind him is Bill Raymond. And Bill Raymond's trying to make a move under him, and it looks like he does. As we head back to the front. Whoa, Jake Johnson, he is, he, he, he lost a bit of his lead he had. And Robert Baird is trying to recapture his lead. This time by Roland going to have five laps to go. Jake Johnson is going to lead that lap. And here comes Robert Band trying to recapitalize. And Trent Downer, he is just sneaking back there in third. And back here in fourth, there's Charles Jackson. Behind him is his teammate, Travis Mitchell. And whoa. And Trent Downer, he just took away second from Jake Johnson. And he is almost on the bump of Robert Band. But here comes... Teammates working together, Charles Jackson and Travis Mitchell. The laps are winding down as we now have four laps to go now. Robert Band better, ha better hang on to that lead. Fellow Internet CRA member Trent Dunham is right there behind him. Charles Jackson's hanging on to third. Travis Mitchell, and uh oh, there goes Trent Dunham on the inside. Trent Dunham has retaken the lead away from Robert Band, and here comes Charles Jackson. Whoa, Charles Jackson, that six car is moving. And Travis Mitchell, he's gonna. Tra Travis Mitchell is helping his teammate, and here, come, and here comes Jake Johnson trying to move back up. I think this is pretty much a five car race. And Charles Jackson ha has taken away second with the help of his teammate, but I think he's gonna lose it because Jake Johnson is about to pass him for third. We have three laps to go. Charles Jackson, if he wants to catch Trent Dunham, he better think of something. Charles Jackson is a very good friend of Jack Richards. As Trent Dunham leads another lap, as we now have two laps to go. Trent Dunham is out in front, one of the veterans in this series. Jake Johnson hanging on to third, and we just had a battle for fourth. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, what happened to Robert Ban? He dropped way back. Well, I believe he's back here in ninth. Whoa, Robert Ban, he dropped like a rock. As we almost have three wide racing. And Charles Jackson, he is on the bumper of Trent Dunham. As Trent Dunham takes the white flag. The final lap, Trent Dunham is in the lead. But Charles Jackson, he is not giving up. He is right there. And I believe he's going to make a move in the back stretch. Well, he's making a move now. Charles Jackson, he is under Trent Dunham. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, but here comes Jake Johnson. He, he might steal a win as Charles Jackson has taken the lead. Coming down to travel and in the front straight away. Charles Jackson will win the Sega 500. Charles Jackson captures his first win in the first round in Tokyo, Japan. Charles Jackson wins the Sega 500. Coming in second was Jake Johnson. 
Coming in third was Trent Dunham. Coming in fourth was Alexander Dawson. Fifth is Danny Wells. Sixth was Robert Band. Seventh was Skyland Carlson. Eighth was Zach Carlson. Ninth was Travis Mitchell. And rounding out the top ten is Justin Acosta. Congratulations to Charles Jackson for winning the for winning round number one of the NNSCRA Caterpillar ARCA series. Okay, here's where everybody finished. Charles Jackson, a rookie, captures his captures a win at Tokyo. Jake Johnson, he dominated. He he came close, but he just couldn't get it done. Trent Dunham comes out third. Alexander Dawson finishes fourth. Danny Wells fifth. Robert Band sixth. Brother and sister finish seventh and eighth. Travis Mitchell ends up ninth. And rounding out the top ten was Justin Acosta. Well, Ricky Hawk, I don't know what happened to him. Jake Baskinger. Nathan Dunanis. Ryan Acosta, Seth Cole, they both had bad finishes, but the season is still young. Oh, oh, and I forgot to say, I'm going to be doing the points like, well, currently, like it is NASCAR. Like, Charles Jackson, since he won the race, he'll get 30 points. Jake Johnson will get 29 points, and so on and so on. Because, because in NR 2003, you can't have more than three championships, so... I'm going to have to do it like this. At the end of every race, I'll show where everyone finishes. Congratulations once again to Charles Jackson for winning at Tokyo.